For example, if somebody asks you for unconditional probability, such as P A. If I don't say conditional something, this will be referred to as an unconditional probability. This is chance of A happening divided by 100% universe, which means to say visualize A happening inside the 100% universe. Visualize an unconditional probability. You think of it as ratio of area divided by 100%. That is a probability, unconditional. Now I want to visualize conditional. A condition on B. Now, first thing to remember about this, B has already happened. We know for a fact B happened already. Therefore, you don't have to consider 100% universe. You can restrict your universe to B. Think about what could happen inside the B circle, which means to say the denominator will just be PB because your universe changed already. Previously, unconditioned is 100% probability, but now you can just zoom in to the things happening inside B. And inside B, there are only two things that could happen. A happening together with B, otherwise A prime happening with B. Either A happen or do not happen within the universe of B. So it is only case one, A intersection B. Imagine shading this, but not in the 100% universe within B. It is still a ratio of area, but now the area has become smaller, but the universe has also become smaller. Two things become smaller at the same time. We can't tell whether the fraction will be because smaller. In general, they are not the same thing. And that's quite important for you to realize. The unconditional is not going to be the same as the conditional. And you must be convinced that they are talking about different things because when I visualize it, they don't even look the same. So why would I expect them to give me the same probability? However, that's precisely the point. In the special case where conditional and unconditional are equal, that is where you have independence. Due to some coincidence, they are equal. In general, they are not equal, but let's talk about a special case where they are equal and let's explore the algebra. Use the conditional probability A intersection B, divide by PB, PA times PB equal to A intersection B. The intersection equals to the product of the two probabilities. When they happen to be equal, the two events are known to be independent. If you recall, unconditional P a, the total of A, so it'd be 0 0.4 divided by the 100%. That's how you should think about unconditional. A conditional B. Zoom into the universe of B. Forget about everything else. There's only 0 0.2 chance of A happening within the universe of B divided by how large B is 0 0.5. So it's just a coincidence that the ratio is the same. When we say that unconditional equal to conditional, we're not saying that they look the same. We're saying that the ratio creating the probability by coincidence is the same. That 0.4 divided by 100% happens to be the same ratio as 0.2 divided by 0.5. They have the same ratio.